Hello everyone and welcome to our backyard. Today I'd like to share with you about a plant that I absolutely love and this is in our shade garden and it happens to be a beautiful Dutchman's pipe vine that is a ground cover and you can see it here and I'm going to get in a little bit closer. This plant, I started out with just two plants originally that I planted last year. And those plants were eaten to the ground multiple times by the caterpillars of the pipevine swallowtail. And each time they came back very quickly and never missed a beat. So I'd like to show you the nursery tag to this plant. So this is Aristolochia fimbriata, or the white vein Dutchman's pipe. And it is a ground cover in semi-shade, and it only gets about two feet long. And the flowers are very unusual. I um, showed the flowers in a post, a community post, um, earlier in the spring. and. I have been on a quest to get more and this summer in my favorite nursery I was able to purchase some more plants. So my husband last weekend helped me and he extended this bed all the way around so it gave me oh about a foot and a half more of planting space because originally my brick came here. And so I was able to get more of these little plants and I just recently planted them. I wanted them in the ground um, so they were able to get established before I had a freeze. And our first freeze is at the beginning of December or our average first frost date. And you'll notice I'm very, very close to um, to this um, small tree here. And so I extended the bed so I could come out and then I've got an inner three and then I have three that curve around this way. What I'm hoping is that it will be able to fill in all throughout here as a ground cover. I do want to share that this little plant can sustain amazingly butterflies, cat that pipe vine butterflies, caterpillar throughout the season. And it grows back so quickly. And they're very interesting. And I'm hopeful that this will be able to create this, this ground cover here because I've been so successful with the the butterflies the caterpillars and butterflies that we've had these gorgeous black and blue pipe vine swallowtails all season long due to this particular plant I do have another pipe vine but it did not do well this year let me show you that so this is my Wooly Dutchman's pipe vine, and it hated this year. It did well throughout the spring and early summer, and then once we hit our 100 degree temperatures, it just shut, shut down. I don't know if it's going to make it um, or not. I, I'm curious to see. This is zoned for Texas, but it's zoned through um, growing zone eight. And we're in 9A, and so I have it sheltered, right? It, it does get, it's bright, and it is underneath our, our um, red tip tree here. But it hated the heat. A lot of plants suffered in our summer, which was a record-breaking summer. So this did not do well, and I only sustained 
caterpillars on it in the spring. So I'm going to see if this poor thing will come back um, next year. But my ground cover here did wonderfully, starting out with only two plants. And then I added a third. And now, as you can see, I was able to get more this summer. But I didn't want to plant in our extreme heat. And so I kept them shaded and kept them watered. And now they've been in the ground for a little over a week. And they're doing beautifully. I'm so happy with this. So for any of you butterfly gardeners out there, you know when you have a host plant to a butterfly, you've just increased your likelihood of having that butterfly regularly in your yard because you're supporting the caterpillars. And once I added the Dutchman's pipe vine, it changed everything. So from going from a visitor now and then in the yard, I went to regularly having the pipe vine swallowtail in my yard regularly. And I'm so happy because I think it's such a beautiful, gorgeous butterfly. So I'll keep you posted on how this ground cover um, performs in this area. Awesome. If any of you have any questions, let me know. Or if any of you grow this particular pipe vine, let me know. And one word of caution, sometimes you'll go into the nursery and you'll see the giant pipe vine. That is actually poisonous to the pipe vine swallowtail. The butterfly will lay eggs on it, but the caterpillars will not survive. And it's a gorgeous plant, um, but it does not sustain the pipe vine swallowtail. So just be aware of that. And for those of you that do like to garden for butterflies or hummingbirds or for specific um, specific things, I highly recommend, if you can, get a laminated guide, field guide, on what in particular you are looking to invite to your yard and grow and have a real steady um, steady, if you will, um, grouping of these caterpillars, bugs, plants, birds, whatever you're looking at. It really helps to have a field guide. And in particular for me, I have this laminated guide, which is called Butterflies of Southeast Texas and the Upper Texas Coast. And it has most of the, of the common butterflies that we see in our yards here in south in the Houston area and south of Houston and I wanted to share this with you because the pipe vine swallowtail I wish it showed the inside in this picture because it's just a beautiful blue but notice the body the abdomen it's also blue that's a way that you can tell the pipe vine swallowtail And you'll see that the host plant is pipe vine in the genus of Aristolochia. In our area, it flies March through November. Gorgeous. <laughs> the other one I want to draw your attention to is the Polydomus swallowtail. And I have not seen this in my yard. You'll notice it also has the host plant of a pipe vine. My understanding is the polydomus can live on the giant pipe vine, 
that I mentioned to you earlier, but the pipevine swallowtail cannot. And interestingly, their caterpillars look very similar, but I have not seen this butterfly in my yard yet. But who knows, hopefully one day I will, because I do have the hose plants for it. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me as I talked about my little my new ground cover area here that I'm pretty excited about. And I will be able to see next spring um, what my survival rate has been. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful day today. And I hope to see you again. <laughs>